guys, welcome to another episode of Spiritually Free TV, and I am Renina Black. I just wanted to check in with you guys to see how your spiritual bath went, your full moon, and the whole shebang. Hope you guys had an awesome uh, spiritual bath and an awesome full moon. So I'm going to actually be talking to you a little bit about some other things today. And I wanted to just first check in with you to see how things were with that. And then also let you guys know that we do have spiritual bath salts here um, where you can also put your intent into these. This is Himalayan salt and a whole bunch of other things we mentioned before in our last video regarding the spiritual bath. So if you're interested, we are located at 814 East 185th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44119, Suite 200. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, please check us out. Hi, everybody. We want to talk to you guys a little bit about... ancestors. Talk to you guys a little bit about... Ancestors. <laughs> ancestors, <Our> right? Ancestors. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about ancestors today. Um, just showing you guys the scenery of where we are. And I want to start off by talking about learning your lineage and learning where you come from and you know trying to build a relationship with your ancestors and how important that is why would you say having a relationship with your ancestors are important um because they can help you get through almost <clears throat> any situation any predicament they can solve any problem that you come across because you're dealing with years, generations, ages of, of knowledge. You're not dealing just with your direct ancestors. You're dealing with your ancestors from, you know, from the Holy Land of Africa. Yes, I said Holy Land. Um, all it, of those. They're melan melanin people. Yeah, of course. Um, all of that knowledge, they can help you. There is not one problem that some of us go through today that is not similar to what they have went through. So it's, it's good to connect. It's good to hear. And where did this tradition come from? Where do you say, where would you say this tradition came from? You know, like connecting with your ancestors and you know, stuff like that. I mean, they, they, our society give more, um, they give Native Americans that idea. They give them the credit for it, but the original people, the first people on, you know, that walked this planet, believing, paying homage to the ones that came before them, you know. And the ones before them will love, who truly love their family and, you know, will always look out for them, even, you know, as they transcend to the next dimension. So I'll just talk a little bit about, that was great. So I'll just talk a little bit about my experience with the ancestors that I have. So basically, the way I, <clears throat> I interact with my ancestors, I actually have an ancestors altar. And I like to connect with my ancestors. I have one too. Right. <laughs> so we have ancestors altars. And we like to connect with our ancestors, um, you know, with an altar. And I think that when you're starting as a spiritualist or just trying to build your relationship in the supernatural realm and spiritual realm, I think that having an altar is just symbolic to connecting with them. So. Um, I can say personally, my experience dealing with my ancestors has been, um, it has been a grand experience. You know, I literally, 
I used to get dreams of my grandmother on a regular basis and after I connect with her um, you know through the ancestors altar and being able to ascend in an astral plane and I'll talk a little bit more about that I really believe that I was able to go into an astral plane and, and connect with my ancestors and make that connection to where they would actually be able to protect me they would actually be able to guide me along with my spiritual guides and I think that that is very important because there's a lot of things that they can tap into um, on the other side and there's a lot of things that they know that they can kind of warn you of and it just the list goes on so I think being able to have a sacred space in your home to build an ancestors altar is very important so on my ancestors altar I do have the the elements there I have water fire air and um, earth and then of course spirit because it's their spirit my spirit the fire is from the candle um, the earth is uh, pine cones or either crystals the air is an incense and the water is just basically, you know, a, a, a cup of water. And having those elements and being able to sit there, in a picture, of course, of your ancestors, being able to sit there and being able to close your eyes and meditate and just connecting with your breaths, focusing on your ancestors and music helps, you know, drums, and just spiritual music to help get you to that next that sacred space that sacred connection that does help so i didn't mean to just jump into it but this is a this is a topic that you really can't tiptoe around so having to just go straight into it this way is the only way I, the best way i can kind of like help those that are trying to understand a little bit more about their journey because you don't have to go through this journey alone and all of your ancestors may not be for you so it's very important that you that you know that that you acknowledge that and that you are aware so the way i come to my ancestors i always reference those that are known and that are unknown that are for me um and i i always picture myself surrounded in a white light you know being protected I'm with the Creator and this is not the traditional way that Christians would do it and I, I don't mean to you know like say anything negative I'm not trying to say anything negative but some of us don't believe that you can connect with your deceased loved ones but the thing about it is you can and it's really important that you know that because like we just spoke, it can actually help you in life in general. And I'm not saying everything is going to be peaches and cream, but it will help open up your eyes to things. It will help you be able to um, get answers to certain things that you needed to have answers to. So it's just an all around practice that I, I would like to encourage, you know, everyone to just do some research about. Um, am I leaving anything else out? Um, how did it like the meat and potatoes behind the ancestors I remember you told me a little bit about how they <clears throat> helped the ancestors was able to lead us out of slavery can you touch on that a little bit well when in short if you can I mean it doesn't have to be in short I in mean short, um, no you can when, take your time when some of the slaves from that were taken from West Africa, some of them didn't like being taken. So, of course not. Um, but nobody likes to be in a slave, so they didn't forget their um, traditions. Right. Um, it started with <clears throat> the Caribbean was on fire, meaning all the islands. We were talking about. Puerto Rico, we're talking about Barbados, we're talking about every island in, was on fire. They were there, were actually, you know, the slave owners were actually putting out these fires left and right. But when Haiti, they connected 
these West Africans connected with their ancestors, they actually revolted and took over the island from the French, the Spanish, the Americans. Still to this day, they don't, they, it was under the, the skies of voodoo and that's where zombies come from because people were so infused with their ancient um, ancestors, the warrior class, and they revolted. And that's where the, <clears throat> that's where, you know, here in the West, they outlawed, um, you know, talking to your ancestors and, you know, talking to them, beating the drum, worship mm -hmm. them, setting up altars in your slave hut and all of that stuff. And they push the, you know, the Christian Bible. Um, it's, it's books actually out that says, you know, how to convert a nigga or nigga to Christianity, you know. And a lot of other times they bred it out of us, you know, they actually have breeding farms. Like they do cows today, you know, they bred, bred our ancestor, you know, our, our lineage, our power out of us. Because if we was actually to tap in 110% of our power, it'd be amazing. That is in short. I think that's awesome. I think, you know, the way you, the way you spoke about that is awesome. Um, a lot of us don't really know that, you know, you could be able to have the ancestors help. A lot of the slaves had their ancestors help lead them to, to, to freedom. You know, they use certain things too. They use like voodoo. Voodoo, voodoo. Um, Hoodoo. Ifa. Ifa, Olo Dumari, which is uh, from the Yoruba tradition. And, and the whole thing is, it's just like, you know, a different branch. It's just different branches of, you know, the same people. You know, we, we ask them for their power. You know, we ask them for their strengths, for their knowledge. You know, just ask them for it. And, and they lend it to us. And it's not nothing evil about asking you know to exchange energy for energy we do it all the time when you go to a, a store you exchange currency all the time so, i mean it's nothing wrong with it people look down on it because it's misunderstood and people fear that and what's not understood is literally taken negative a lot of times you know you don't understand anything, you take it negative because you didn't hear about it from your pastor or because you didn't hear about it from your your mom or your dad or just growing up as a child. So it, right. it becomes something that you frown upon. But I just want to encourage everyone to just do their research a little bit more to get into. If you're interested and you have subscribed to this channel and you're interested in learning a little bit more about what we're talking about, even if you don't believe from what history has shown you in terms of your actual, um, where you stand today, from what you've learned so thus far. And you wanna just fish around and see if we left anything out or if we forgot something or if we didn't do this right or if we didn't say that right, please drop your comments below. We're, we're always willing to learn. We're, we're advancing in our studies. We're, we've been diligent on our journey and this is Spiritually Free TV, so. We're just trying to <clears throat> basically give you guys a little synopsis of what it is that we normally do mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And we definitely connect with our ancestors. Yeah, we do. And a lot of other things that we're going to share. So let us know. Like, subscribe, share, and... Um, comment. Please comment. Comment, yeah. Please comment. All right, you guys. Thank you.